Hey everyone, welcome back to J Plus K Retro Gaming Channel. This week's 5 minute gameplay challenge, I'm going to be playing IGN's number 15 game on its all time SNES list, Tetris Attack. Hey you, yes you, you know what they're doing to us, to our brains? I'm talking about the most malicious conspiracy ever concocted. Oh, of course, they pretend it's just a harmless little game. Simple to learn, they say fun to play. Oh, but once you start, your mind becomes weak and easy to control. Millions are probably playing it as we speak. So this game was developed by Intelligent Systems in 1995 in Japan, and one year later it came to North America in 1996. But there was a big change when they ported it from Japan to North America. In 1995, originally, the game and the story had fairies as the background and the characters. When they brought it over to North America, they changed it to Super Mario World 2. So the characters changed from fairies to all sorts of colors of Yoshi. So Tetris Attack is a puzzle color matching video game, which to my surprise has nothing to do with the original Tetris, which it's named after. So the premise of the game is to match colored blocks either horizontally or vertically in rows to clear them before it actually inches up to the top. There are different game modes, so single player and two player, so multiplayer. Today, of course, I'll be playing the single player, and there are different games within the mode, so time attack mode, regular. I'm going to be playing the endless mode. So the original Tetris game is one of my favorite handheld games of all time, and in fact, I still play the original Game Boy Tetris on my handheld almost every day. It's one of those games I play to wind down before bed. So I'll be interested to see how this game, Tetris Attack, which has nothing to do with that original version, stacks up as I've never played it before, so I'm going into this fresh, and we'll see if I recommend it, we'll see if it passes the 5 minute challenge, and if it would crack my top 15. And just a quick side note, Tetris the Movie is a really fun watch. It came out at around the same time as the Mario movie, so it kind of got overshadowed a bit there. But I almost like Tetris better than that movie. So if you haven't already, go see that. That was just a quick side note. And now on to the gameplay.
So that was Tetris Attack on the SNES and I must say it was a little bit disappointing. I don't think it's going to pass my 5 minute challenge. So it's been a while since the game has not passed the 5 minute challenge. So of course I wouldn't put it in my top 15 as well. But let's see why as we go through the ratings. So for music and sound, I actually give this game a pretty high rating, 8 out of 10. The music, the theme song was pretty catchy, and the sound effects were pretty cool as well. So the blocks chiming, I guess if you match four in a row, you get that Yoshi, the sound, sound effect when Mario jumps on Yoshi. So you get that. So that was pretty cool. So 8 out of 10 for music and sound effects. So video and graphics, I'm going to give this game 8 out of 10 as well. A very vibrant and colorful game. It was definitely great use of the 16-bit color palette. And also the Yoshis in the background were really cool as well. But I'm guessing it probably wouldn't have scored as high if this was the original Japanese version instead of the Mario 2 version when it got ported over because all of those graphics would be totally different. All the fun characters that we know and love wouldn't be there but they are, so 8 out of 10 for video and graphics. So now on to gameplay, and you may have guessed it, I'm gonna give this game pretty low, 5.5 out of 10. Maybe it was the gameplay I was on, so I was on the Endless, and it was the easier level, so the blocks weren't going as fast, wasn't as challenging, but I found it was really boring, and that's why it didn't really capture my attention in the first five minutes, so it didn't pass the five minute challenge. And of course, going into this, I was surprised to find out that it had nothing to do with the original Tetris. So I knew that going in, and it still disappointed me. It was more like the matching colored games out there, like Bejeweled or some of the other handheld games out there. Uh, so really big letdown for me, even though I knew it had nothing to do with Tetris. I thought maybe it was just going to be like a loose spin-off. But no, completely different game. They just use the Tetris name for the game. So a disappointing five and a half for gameplay, which makes this game overall Tetris Attack for the SNES, six out of 10 Marios. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Maybe I'm a little bit too hard on it, but it is a first impression. So the first five minutes, if I change the game mode, maybe there's a better option like time attack. Maybe I would have enjoyed that better. Let me know in the comments if you've played this game and what you guys think. I definitely love to hear your thoughts. So that's it for this week's five minute gameplay challenge. As always, thank you all for watching. Thanks to all our subscribers for all your support. And I'll see you next week for the next gameplay video. Llega el auténtico sucesor de Tetris, Tetris Attack, un juego con un concepto nuevo y revolucionario, técnicamente distinto a cualquier otro, incluso en las formas y colores de los conocidos bloques, que aquí cambian completamente.